Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I do have an unbagging. It's not a handbag, but it is an unbagging. And I also want to share with you a couple of items that I still have for sale that I am lowering the prices, wonderful items. So I'm gonna share those with you before I try to sell them somewhere else. I have been trying to get rid of quite a few bags lately. If you have bags, especially, well, specifically, if you have luxury handbags and you want to sell them, hit up Candy, Candy Sweet Love for LV. I always screw up her name. But anyway, you guys, she is great at selling bags. So I have a bag here that I am going to send to her and I'm going to put the price in the description box. If anybody sees this bag and you are interested in it, the price is in the description box, okay? So um, before I do the unbagging, what should I do first? Okay, I'll just do this first. <laughs> before I do the unbagging, I'll just show you a few of the things that I have for sale. So I have this gorgeous Capucines for sale. I also have a red in the BB size. Now I have used this a good bit of times and it still looks new because I tried to keep this ribbon here and I tie it so this won't go flat. And see, it still looks really, really nice. I've had it for a few years. I love the warm pink. Now, if I don't sell this bag, it's not gonna hurt my feelings because I have used it. But I, I guess I prefer the BB size more, but big bags are coming back, you guys. So somebody might want this gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Let me show you the inside of it because I have some organizers inside. Here's the strap and it is adjustable. So I do have these organers, <laughs> organizers on the inside of this bag that I will let go with it. I'm not sure of the brand of the organizer. Okay, so it's Samorga. So I have these organizers that go inside this bag. This bag is leather on the inside. It's a very expensive bag. And like I said, if I don't sell it, I'm not gonna be upset, but I would love to sell it and maybe replace it with a black one. This is the poor girl's Kelly, okay? <laughs> Let's just call it the poor girl's Kelly because it it's not a Kelly bag, obviously, but I don't know. It just kind of makes me think of a Kelly, and it's gorgeous, you guys. Oh, I don't know why I'm selling it, but there are other bags that I see out there that I would love to have, and probably I would use more. So I don't like something like this sitting on the shelf that is so expensive when I don't use it that much, okay? I have used it, but now I've, I feel like I'm ready to move on, and see the handle is still like new, and that's why I keep that ribbon tied across the top to keep this, this arch. Otherwise, it will go flat. But you guys, this is a beautiful bag and the price is in the description box, so check it out. All right, guys, this isn't really supposed to be a vlog sale, but when I came in my office, I thought, I still have a few things to sell. So I'm just, you know, kind of throw them out there and you guys can message me. You can message me through email my email is in the description box. And I also have this Azure Agenda, and I just got it a few months ago, you guys. I can't say I have a full set, you guys. My stuff is everywhere. I'm not the most organized, okay? <laughs> but I put some papers in there and took them out, and I've actually never used it. I do have these little cards and I have a, bi a box to put it in and a dust box, dust bag, <laughs> dust bag. Anyway, these sell for $450 on the Louis Vuitton website and I'm going to let it go for $400, you guys. I'm losing $50 bucks right off the bat. But I realize now that this is not the kind of thing that I would use. I really thought that I would. <sighs> This is a mistake, okay? I love my large agenda, but this is a mistake and I'm willing to take a hit on it. Um, on the website, it's $450 plus tax. So around $500, I'm selling it for four, brand new. 
and I will find a box and a dust bag to put it in. So this would be a great present for somebody. You could even get, you know, somebody's initials hot stamped on it here. So I take Venmo and PayPal if anybody is interested in this beautiful agenda. And this is the small one, of course. All right, I'm gonna put it over here. I don't know if it shows. All right, guys, so for today's video, I. I do have an unbagging. It's nothing major. So I'll show you that in the, I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. So what I really thought to do today is I've been carrying this bag for over a week, okay? A week and a half probably. So it is time to change out of my on the go MM. You guys, I love this bag. I would love to have an on the go like a smaller one PM uh, and maybe later. Or don't they have a East West on the go? I think so. You guys, I haven't even been looking at the website much lately. I haven't been looking for purses. I haven't been in the mood for anything like that. Too much is going on in my personal life and that's why I thought today would be a great opportunity to catch you guys up on some of the things that's going on in our life as I take some of the items out of this bag and I think over the weekend, unless we go out to eat and I'll if I do, if we go somewhere, I would change it into a smaller bag. Well, it just depends on where we go. But I thought I would show you guys my Loop Hobo. So I decided to put the stuff in my on the go, in the Loop Hobo, and I'm gonna carry this bag. You guys, I love it. I wouldn't mind having a leather version of this bad boy. This is a great bag. I let my daughter carry it for a couple of weeks and she really enjoyed it. The only thing about this, why? Why is this so short? I don't know. Louis Vuitton, sometimes they do some really goofy things <laughs> that should be longer, but I could get, I could get like a couple of rings or an extender and make it longer, but they should have done it for us, right? It doesn't bother me that bad, but it really should be longer. All right, let's change out purses. All right, guys, so yeah, I thought this would be a great opportunity to just talk to you guys. So much has been going on, you guys. When is it not, okay? I would just really love for things to slow down. All right, I don't have an organizer in this bag, nor do I plan to get one. It's just a dark hole, because most of my things are in pouches anyway, so yeah, I think it's gonna be fine, and I don't carry like pens in my bags, unless I use my coach little pencil holder. All right, guys, so anyway, let's start out with what have I been doing lately? So lately, I've been cleaning out the pool house, and I'm not teaching art anymore. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> That became a bit out of hand because the girls, I love them, you guys, but they had other extracurriculars going on that has to do with school, and a lot of times they would have to miss, and they'd want to make up a day, and then I was constantly making up days but not making extra money. It just wasn't coming out uh, money-wise for me, and it was taking up a lot of time, and that is when my mom was really, really sick, and I couldn't, I just couldn't keep it up, so... Because of that, I've been cleaning out the pool house. I'm fixing one little sitting area, kind of a bohemian look. My daughter hates it. And then I have my little art side. I'll take you guys out there and show it to you sometime. And then I just have another table over here with a shelf. Sometimes she does hair out there. So she has um, room to put her stuff. Here comes Keith, because I've got him on this app. And I can see where he is at all times. <laughs> As I was saying. Yeah, so I've been busy cleaning out the pool house, trying to get it like I want it, and I need to buy some new furniture for out there. So that's kind of exciting. We're also emptying out my mom's house. Uh, so December the 3rd will be a year since she passed. And the first few months, of course, we just weren't up to doing it. And we're just now getting to where when we go over there and we take things, we're okay. So a lot of the stuff that she had in her house, I'm using out in the pool house because she had a lot of older things and I'm going for that 70s vibe, you guys, my favorite decade. Uh, I was just really too young to really enjoy that decade, but you know, <laughs> I love the 70s. Okay, and everything about it. All right, so that's what we've been doing, cleaning out my mom's house and we're hoping to sell it by the spring. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna put in here, I've got a couple of little carry-all bags. This is my mini pochette that Winnie gave me. <laughs> It's my mini pochette, okay? And it's got little skulls on it, but I'm gonna use it all year long. 
all year along, all year long, because I love it, and because it was from my bestie, Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is from Naomi Crafted. And I had a smaller one and my daughter wanted it, so I gave it to her. But anyway, you know what? They're just full of lippies. This one's full of li lippies. And then this one has some lippies in it. You never know, you guys, when you're going to need extra lippies. I've got some Pepsid AC, a lip pencil, and tissues. So, see, that's why, really, I don't feel bad about not having an organizer for this bag because everything is contained within these bags. Although I love these bags, it does help me not have to have an organizer. And whoever used them before, you guys, for years and years, I would buy luxury bags and not have organizers. Of course, I do on some of my bags, but I'm not one that gets one for every single bag. Okay, so... We're going to just throw this in here. I mean, it really doesn't matter because I can put a lot of stuff in here. So I got both of my little carry-all bags, or whatever you want to call it, catch-all bags. Now, I'm thinking about changing this out. I've been using this for a while, but... Right now I won't, so this is the perfect little card case, you guys. I love these small wallets. I love them, but I still have my Long Louie, and it's sitting here on my desk because I can't decide if I want to sell it or not. I've had it for years. See? It's red. The red interior. It's like new. The zipper is buttery. I would sell it, I guess, but I just, I haven't tried to. I don't I don't know if I would regret it. But anyway, this is something I've just had so long. And it has the thick canvas. I've had it probably 10 or 12 years. I could look on the date code and see. But you guys, this is one that has gotten better with time. And I love it. So I don't know if I'm going to sell it. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. I always give you guys first dibs. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this in here. Also, I wanted to talk a bit about Drew. Okay, so Drew is now... You guys, he's 16 months old already, okay? How? How has my little Drew Boo gotten to be 16 months old? I'm going to put a picture of his sweet little face up here for you guys. Now, he's not walking yet because he has a disability. Um, he will be able to walk, but it's going to take a little while. He sits up and he plays and he scoots, but he doesn't really crawl because his right side is weak. And... He doesn't really try to hold himself up with his right side. He'll take his little left arm and scoot like a little inchworm. And I feel bad for him sometimes, you guys. And please pray for him because he really wants to do all the things that 16-month-olds do, but he's not able to yet. So last week, his mom and I took him and got him fitted. He's going to be getting a brace on both legs. And his doctor said it won't be but a few months and he is going to be... Uh, boot scoot and boogie all over the place. So I can't wait, you guys. I can't wait until he's into everything. He's going to be okay. I'll keep you guys updated. I just hope he adapts well to the leg braces. All right, guys. I'm taking notes with Bob Ross here. My little Bob Ross pen. I'm going to go ahead and do the unbagging, and then I'm going to show you a couple of bags that didn't sell, and I'm lowering the price. Yes! It's Super Deal Wednesday up in here, okay? Let's... I'm going to give a deal. That's what I'm going to do. So, you guys, thank you for everyone who purchased something from my blog sale. It was a success. I have a few items. All left. right. So, you guys, update on Keith. He has, he Tuesday he does a chemo and then uh, two weeks after that he does his last one. So, he has two left and then he will be taking a chemo pill, which I hear it has quite a few side effects. They said it will thin his hair, which his hair has not fallen out or thinned out at all. But the chemo pill that he's going to be taking, they said it might cause it to thin. He has super thick, coarse hair, you guys. But I hate for him to lose any of it. He has lost some weight. He does look thin, but he's doing pretty good. The worst part for him, I think, is the cold sensitivity. There's one of the medications, there's three medications. So within that cocktail, there, one of the medications causes cold sensitivity. So chemo is cumulative. So with every chemo treatment, 
it seems to have gotten worse. So I'll be glad when all this is over, he'll be finished. You know, like I said, two more regular treatments and then six weeks of the chemo pill and they do his blood work every other week, which chemo has thrown his blood work off a bit. But other than being tired, he hasn't had any major, you know, major complications, thank God. So he's doing pretty good. We had our 20th anniversary. I've had so many people say, what did Keith get you? Well, we didn't, I did get him a few little fun gifts, but he hasn't been up to, you know, he told me he was going to take me shopping and I could get a handbag, but I didn't want one. And I told him, I don't really want one. He's like, you don't want a handbag. I could have picked something out, um, but he's not up to shopping. And I said, I, I really don't because at this point in my collection, I'm selling. But if I do bring something in, I'm going to try to be more mindful and careful um, because I only want to buy something I absolutely love because I don't. Like I said, I do get rid of my contemporary bags after I use them a while. There's a few I'll never get rid of. But with luxury, the prices have went up so high. You guys know how bad it is. I just haven't really seen anything that grabs me. I do love the Neverfull that Winnie got, the black with the monogram. Is that the inside out? I believe it was. But I would never wear it that way. I just love the black and monogram. So I just didn't choose anything. He said, you can pick something. You can pick a bag or whatever. I just haven't, you guys. I just, I just didn't want anything, honestly. Yeah, he asked me what was wrong with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this unbagging. It's from Target and we don't have a target in our town now i was influenced to buy this i love faux fur coats so it's a faux fur jacket <laughs> there was an influencer that i watch she had it and she said it was good and you know just by pulling it out of the bag and looking at it it feels so soft oh it's very soft very soft so it's um the length of a car coat. I'm going to put it on and stand up, you guys. So I got a large. I like big coats and I will not lie. <laughs> it's called, this is the brand. Okay. Let me just show you. This is the brand from Target. I'll link it below. And it's a large. I have big shoulders. And it was $49. That's why I got it, you guys. I was watching her and she loves faux furs. This is an influencer that I've been watching. And she said this was as good as some of her really expensive ones. And I thought, okay, I'm going to try it for $49. I love it. I knew it. Well, I thought it would look good with my dark hair, you guys. But anyway, it feels so soft. It feels like a, I mean, it feels like a much more expensive jacket than 48 bucks. This is so cute. So if you want to be a little glamoury, of course I would wear it with overalls, <laughs> but that's me. I'm going to link this below. I think it also comes in a dark one, but I love it. This is a really good buy. I don't know. I think I would really enjoy wearing this. How pretty. All right. So yeah, win-win. And for a large, I think it's true to size because I wear anywhere from a small, medium, large. It just depends how things are made. But this is definitely like maybe a 10, 12. And what I really love about it is I'm short, you guys. And these, these sleeves, like they're the right length. A lot of times things in large, the sleeves will come way down here. And I didn't want that look. So yeah, this is so cute. I love it. <laughs> so that is my unbagging. And I feel, I feel like I've updated you guys on all of the shenanigans that's going on over here in my household. Just a lot going on. Most of it's good. Keith's getting through his chemo. He'll get through it and be finished with it by the holidays. That is really all I have for you guys today. Don't forget, I have this for sale. I have this for sale. Wait a minute. I wanted to show you my other two bags that didn't sell. But anyway, the prices will be in the description box. And if nobody wants this beauty, I'll probably be shipping her off to Candy. Because she'll sell it, I promise you. Let me grab, let me grab those other bags. 
The first one is my gorgeous Black Fleming. If it doesn't sell, it won't hurt my feelings because I'll just use it, but I just didn't feel like I needed it. I kept the beige one. I was asking $3.50. These bags are usually, I'm not sure what they are up to now, probably $5.50. You guys, I'm gonna drop it another 50, so we're gonna go 300 and it's light new. There's no corner wear. It is rare that any of my bags have corner wear. I'm surprised it didn't sell, but maybe I just priced it a bit too much. This is all leather and it's nice. It is a nice size. So 300, PayPal or Venmo. This gorgeous gray pillow Madison, 275. I'm going down from 350 to 275 on this one. I think the chain is gorgeous. I'm just not a gray bag girl. I don't know why. And it looks good on the monitor. Crossbody. See? Like I said, I'll just wear them if I can't sell them, but I I just don't use them much. They're like they're like in brand new condition. And I love the turn lock on this. The inside is suede. It's got that roomy zipper. Then you've got this with the magnetic closure and this big roomy area, you know, to put your phone in there. This is a great bag. I have one just like it in uh, the chalk color, and that's the one I use the most, but both of these, I'm dropping the price. So at the end of my video, um, you'll see linked my blog sale. So check it out. And I'm willing to go down on the rest of the things that I haven't marked sold. So make me an offer, you guys, that I can't refuse, and I won't refuse it. But you guys, I love this. If you like fur, oh my gosh. If I were on a plane and I needed to get cozy, <laughs> that's the end of my video. I see you guys in a couple of days. Can't really tell you what's coming up. I know my wish list is coming up. I'm still working on it. And I can't even remember what I wished for last year. I'm going to have to revisit that. But yeah, I do have a wish list video coming up very soon. Bye, you guys. Peace.